So Dave, I'm so glad to talk to you today because so many of my friends are home right now and they are thinking about writing their book. They're trying to figure out what to do next. And many people get stuck kind of in the logistics part of writing the book. You know, once I write it, how do I sell it? Where do I market it? Um, and I was telling some of my friends that you do a lot of these things. So I just wanted to get you on on video and you can kind of explain a few things about what it is you do for for authors, for speakers, for business executives, and ways you help them get their book out to the market. So first off, you've been doing this a long time because you and I met several years ago when you um, helped me publish one of my books. That's correct. Yeah, we, we met a while back and I've helped you uh, print, I think, three books now at this point. So that's very cool. Yep, and um, we've done both paperback and hardcover books. I find that my audience, for my audiences, they really like the hardcover books, and you did such a beautiful job on that, and I really appreciate that. But then you've also expanded to not just doing the actual printing of the book, but now you're doing a whole host of other things. So can you just share with everybody what is what it is you're also doing right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, I actually I have a company called Believers Book Services, and we've been around uh, in different variations since 2004. And so when we met, of course, the service that you needed was printing, but uh, we actually do kind of all of the production areas of producing a book. So everything from editing to interior layout, cover design, ebook production, and then of course the printing side of things. In addition, we also work with our authors who need the service uh, to go to tr traditional retail. We provide the avenue to do that through both uh, sales, marketing, and distribution avenues. So we kind of try to cover all the back end side of marketing. Uh, I know that there are lots of people out there that help with, you know, writing, ghostwriting, um, editing and so forth, but we try to tie all of those services together to provide not only the best possible scenario for an author, but hopefully saving them money at the same time. Yeah, and that's one of the struggles I think a lot of my friends have had was they've got great ideas, they get the manuscript done because you can get that template almost anywhere if you want to do it that way. And then they say, well, what's next? Um, right. And then they might go, and then they hire five different services to do the cover design, um, the content editing, the copy editing, the final grammatical editing, the layout, the table of contents, the indexing, all of those things. And you handle all that. We do, we do. And I mean, what you were talking about is really where our industry has gone. The change in our industry has really gone from a real traditional mindset to really a, a self-publishing mindset. And you can, as an author, go out and find all of those services. You can kind of cobble all those together you, and you tend to have to become almost an expert in a lot of those areas. Or you can work with organizations like what we do. And that is, we bring all of those things together, all those services together with professionals who have been doing this for their whole careers and, and bring it into kind of a one-stop shop uh, in order to help not only uh, streamline the, the process, but to make it, um, I think, as easy as possible. I think, I think right now that's the part that people are looking for is how do we make this easy? And then, of course, once you've got the book put together, um, then what do you do with it? How do you sell it? Where do you put it? How do you, how do you distribute it? Um, and now you're doing that too. Yeah, that's that's very true. Um, I kind of liken it to the Field of Dreams movie. You know, if you build it, they will come. Um, I, a lot of times I will talk with an author who has maybe done all those things themselves. They come to me, they put a book on my desk and they say, now what? Well, you know, if we had been working together from the very beginning, we would have strategically been looking at, you know, what does it take to launch a book? What does it take to uh, put a book into retail? What is the strategy behind all of that? And we would have been working along those, those lines for the entire process. Because when you get to the finished product and sitting on your desk, it's, it's not too late, but it's pretty far down the road in terms of um, you know, developing that strategy then to get that out to the marketplace. So we, you know, uh, I've been working with, I've had the, the amazing opportunity in the publishing industry to kind of be on all sides of publishing. So I've not only worked with traditional publishing, I've worked with book distribution. I've worked with international rights. I've worked with book printing. So I've had the ability to bring together experts that I've worked with in all those areas 
to not only produce the book, but then also to take that book, uh, uh, use a sales team, for example, to walk into and talk to the buyer at Barnes and Noble and, and Books a Million, et cetera, and then um, work with a book distributor, uh, which is different than a book wholesaler. Mm -hmm. Book distributor actually represents uh, your work as the author to those retail channels and helps to place it in those channels. So it's been a lot of fun putting all that together. And we have the ability to help uh, independent authors, especially today with all those things. So I was, I was excited to find out that not only were you printing the books and making them happen as a book, but now you're also in the distribution, marketing and sales space and getting that out there, which is, again, there's a lot of great books that are not in the marketplace because people just don't know how to get them into distribution. Right. And now you're handling that as well. Um, and then I want to loop back in the beginning because I had a conversation yesterday with a friend of mine and he said, you know, I'm, he's one of my CEOs, one of my, my folks I coach. And he said, you know, I'm getting ready to turn the reins over in about a year and I want to pass down my legacy of thought. I want to write a book for my future, you know, my future self, but also to pass along what I've learned and all that. Um, and I, I found out very recently that you also do some ghostwriting as well. We do. Uh, I, I don't personally do it. That's not my expertise. My expertise is bringing together a full team that does this, mm -hmm. but uh, I have a, a full uh, team of people that do editing, ghostwriting, of course, design, edit, uh, um, interior layout, and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and what we really want to be able to do, especially in the speaker area, especially with CEOs, especially with business leaders or thought leaders, is provide a very easy uh, avenue for uh, them to, uh, to take their thoughts, to take their message, to take their most important, maybe even legacy, uh, and be able to uh, distill that into a book product. Um, there, I, I have a saying that uh, every speaker, every CEO needs to be an author, but not every author needs to be a writer. And that's very important for a lot of, uh, I think, speakers and CEOs to understand is you can still be an author. You can, th these are your thoughts. You generate them, but you don't have to write them. And that's where we would pair uh, these folks. Uh, and, I, and we do a lot of times pair our authors with professional writers who can then take that thought and craft it into a professional book. And I think that's really important. Um, today, especially for speakers, especially for CEOs, you know, having a book is, is kind of that gravitas that people need to have. Um, it's kind of that calling card that if you wanna be seen as, as an expert in your field or somebody that has um, a lot of expertise or, or something to say, it, it almost has to be in book form these days, uh, and which is really, I think, a key thing for a lot of speakers and, and CEOs to understand. Well, I'm kind of excited because um, with what we're going through right now, a lot of people are home and they are reading or writing books. So Dave, thanks so much for jumping on the call with me today. I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully you can help a lot of people. Thanks again, my friend. Hey, thank you.